So, I have an intro now, like some sort of real YouTuber, I guess. Uh, fancy that, that's pretty cool. So, the song I used was my own. Uh, I used to make 8-bit music, so YouTube gods, please chill. I officially uh, grant myself permission to use my own song, it's totally cool. Alright, so today's video is about Fallout Bay. And Fallout Bay is the center of energy in New Wild World, and the most likely place to cause a widespread nuclear disaster, because uh, they're aren't any other nuclear power plants in New Isle World, so yeah, that kind of just makes it the, the default place to be able to do that. Um, so this is one of the towns that I've kind of spent the most time on when I've been doing my updates lately. And uh, spoiler alert, that whole thing about most likely to cause a widespread nuclear disaster may or may not play a future part in developments in New Isle, but you know, I'm not saying anymore. Maybe it will, maybe it might, but uh, let's not get into it. Anyway, so what's new here? What's going on in Fallout Bay? So the first thing you'll notice up here is this place called Picnic Point Park, uh, which is centered around this parking lot that this guy is working at and uh, is trapped in, so this is his permanent job. I seem to have a thing about making villagers have permanent jobs and trapping them forever in their workplaces. Hmm, I don't know if that's symbolism for what we're all going to do one day when we're either working right now or will be. I digress. Existential moment there. Hi, cow. So this is Picnic Point Park. Uh, it's a nice little area to chill. Relax. I thought I'd give uh, Fallout Bay a park, uh, somewhere to escape the post-apocalyptic fate that might await the villagers around here and not think about the existential dread of our everyday lives. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let, let's not get into the existential dread too much though. Uh, let's just check out more of Fallout Bay, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. So what's up next? Uh, you'll see that there's been lots and lots of builds. I've probably expanded Follow up bay to maybe almost twice its size now. There are a ton of new builds, um, at least comparing to what follow up bay used to be. So you'll see over here that I've made a police station. So this is to address the rampant environmental crime that may or may not take place in the rest of the town as uh, a maybe result of that power plant in the distance. But you know, um, I'd like to think that they keep it pretty cool and don't do any of that. Um, there is gambling, however, now, as I've added a casino boat called the New Wild Bell. So I have been on a bit of an Ozark binge lately and absolutely recommend that show if you're not like too young for, you know, violent crime and stuff like that. And <laughs> I don't want to get into too many details, but you know, if uh, you're, you're not of the younger variety of viewers, which I know most of you are, check that show out. It's pretty cool. Uh, organized crime is... Not cool in real life, but this show is. Uh, so there's a, a riverboat that plays into that show later on in the series. So I kind of modeled it after that. And this is one of my favorite builds, probably my favorite new build of Fallout Bay. And of course, it would be kind of weird if I had uh, a boat here and no pier, so I added one of those as well. So that wraps around this riverboat that has the casino in it. I also replaced the town hall because it looked like junk before and you know how I'm a fan of replacing stuff that I don't like. So I gave it a brand new look and feel, gave it a, a nice new interior as well and the stairs that lead to the not so secret fallout shelter that's beneath the town hall. Uh, over here I did a bit more streetscaping as well so you'll have kind of these like lookout points that uh, let you see into the distance to the skyline of New Isle. And of course you can see that lovely lighthouse in the distance too, or not lovely, I don't know. I won't knock your opinions. I like it. Anyway, uh, I also added this little uh, downtown business district over here and gave it uh, this anchor monument uh, just cause Follow Bay is kind of turning into a, a bit of a nautical town uh, if the boat is any indication of that. So that's kind of the, the center point over here in this uh, intersection and I've added the usual stuff like a medical center, which has the pharmacy and the doctor's office. Uh, there's an office building over here, which has a bar in the first floor and then uh, the New Isle State Power Company head office up here. So these are like the administrative office drones that deal with, you know, stuff related to the power plants, complaints, uh, you know, mutations. Did I say mutations? 
nah, maybe a couple of those here and there. And then the school, which has a bee going around, and hopefully that doesn't like sting any of the students, but it looks pretty chill, so I don't think it's going to attack. Ah, keep your distance. Yep, so there's a school over here, and there's a playground on top of the uh, second floor here. I don't know, I, I just wanted to add like a, a cool playground with a view of the power plant so the students know their fate one day. That's getting really dark. I'm being really dark with this video. Uh, there's also this gas station, which is inspired by Fallout 4. So that's a moderately popular post-apocalyptic video game, or post-apocalyptic video game that has absolutely no bearing and connection to the name of the town whatsoever. So if you've played Fallout 4, you might recognize uh, this gas station and service station. And over here, if we travel through the tunnel, but we're not going to actually travel through it, we're just going to travel over top of it. This is the Frank Grimes Senior Memorial Tunnel. If you watched The Simpsons back in the day, then you'll get it, because there are lots of references to The Simpsons all throughout this town. This town that has no connection whatsoever to the universe of Bethesda's Fallout games. And here's the fire station. Yeah, I've been talking about these, and yeah. They're in every town. But yeah, I, I like this build. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's kind of a, an old school rustic feel. And of course it has the fire engine inside. And then last but not least, in the town of Fallout Bay, I built a new residential section with a, a variety of much more detailed houses. So I'm trying to up the detail game when it comes to residential builds, um, all the builds in general that are coming in a new 1.3 are a fair bit more detailed, so the houses in Fallout Bay are no exception to that. Uh, what I did want to point out was this one cool house, which is inspired by uh, the former real-life home of a fan of mine. His name is Bottle Rocket Bosley, and I'm pretty sure that guy has like every obscure release of New Wild I've ever done, and I'd consider him my super fan. So he sent me a picture of his uh, former real-life home on Discord, and I made this uh, fair bit more detailed home uh, over here in the town of Fallout Bay that's uh, loosely modeled after his real life home, or former real life home, that is. And uh, are these bees following me around? It probably has to do with uh, this thing right here, attracting all the bees, but um, might want to rethink having that near a, a public school. So well, let's hope they're nice bees. Well. Probably nice bees. They're not wasps. Wasps are assholes. You heard it here, folks. I'm not a fan of those. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this overview of the town of Fallout Bay. You can check it out in my new pre-release that's available on my Discord channel, and I'll leave the link in the description to that so you can check it out yourselves. Or you can be very patient for the wide release of New I 1.3, which I still totally do not have a release date for. It'll get done when it's going to get done, and there's a fair bit left to do, but I promise it'll be worth it. If you are impatient, though, the pre-releases are the thing. Anyway, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Blip Noir out.